This is an underwater audio beacon designed to help visually impaired swimmers navigate in the pool. Here's how it works. The beacon consists of a 3D printed body that is anchored to the bottom of the pool using a weight. Inside the body are electronics that produce a repeating audio cue that swimmers can listen for. The beacon is positioned so that it's anchored in the center of the lane and at a known distance from the pool's wall. The length of the anchor cord is adjusted so that the beacon floats a couple feet below the surface of the water. Visually impaired swimmers can listen for the beacon's repeating sounds as they swim in the pool lane and use the direction and intensity of the sound to determine where the beacon is. They can swim towards the sound to keep centered in the lane and when they are directly above the beacon, they'll know exactly how far they are from the edge of the pool, which helps prevent them from swimming into it. Three meters. The beacon can be configured to emit different audio cues, including preset distances. Three meters. Here the beacon is indicating that it's three meters away from the edge of the pool, so swimmers know how much three further meters. they have until they reach it. Here is a breakdown of how the beacon is built. Inside the beacon are a number of electronics, including an Adafruit feather board, an amplifier, a transducer, and a battery with a toggle switch. The feather board stores the beacon's audio files and runs a Python script that plays a selected file every five seconds. Connected to the board is an amplifier. The amplifier converts digital signals from the board to audio signals for the transducer that is connected to its terminals. The transducer takes the audio signals and converts them into mechanical vibrations that produce sound. There is a small plate on the bottom of the transducer that moves in and out, which creates sound waves in whatever surface it is pressed against. The transducer fits within a mount inside the beacon's cap, so when it vibrates with an audio signal, the entire beacon body acts as a speaker to emit the sound into the water. The board and amplifier are mounted onto a mounting plate, and the battery slides behind the board. When the beacon is ready to be used, the battery switch is turned on to power the board, which automatically starts the audio playback script. Then, the mounting plate is slid into the beacon body, and the switch is fit in as well. Then the cap with the transducer mounted on it is screwed onto the body. There is an o-ring between the cap and the body that creates a watertight seal to protect the electronics when the two halves are screwed together. The anchor cord is tied onto a bracket on the bottom of the beacon body and its other end is tied around the anchor weight. The beacon is now assembled and powered on and ready to be used in a pool.